What's up, it's you. For today's video, we'll be full Fungus, Evolution, and Forbes team. I'll be using Fungus, Among Us, and Brute Bonnet. So this is like the second last Paradox Forms team to go. And I'll be doing three of these Pokemon and the Shinies to make up a full team of six. Now, the remaining ones left is going to be Makahita, Hariyama, and Iron Hands. And that's it. That's all of them done. And uh, I better not see any Among Us and Sus jokes in the comment section of the video. Actually, I'd love to see them. All right, people. We got three battles today with this team. Our first battle here, this one is against Arts. And I believe we have a theme team here, too, if you can uh, guess it. So my first Pokemon is going to be Among Us. So we got a physical Among Us here. And this one is a Terra Blast or Terra Water with Terra Blast. Giga Impact, Sea Bomb, and Stomping Tantrum. The first Pokemon is going to be a little Diglett. Now, Diglett is going to be having a Focus Sash, and it did miss the Fissure. Now, it's going to go... <laughs> look at that animation on Stomping Tantrum. It's going to go for a Fissure, then Stomping Tantrum. That was amazing. Like, just jumping out of the ground there. The dirt was just, like, attached to it. So, that's the end of the Diglett. So, a quality start to the battle there. I took a, you know, a Diglett out, and a children was going for Pokemon. Next Pokemon is going to be Gyarados. So, Gyarados is going to have Intimidate. Uh, there's not too much point me swapping out here. However, they're going to try and go for a flinch there. So I just went for C bot. I didn't get flinch and I got a good amount of damage off here. Uh, this Among Us was Choice Band Regenerator. We had max health and max attack as the uh, EV spread. So bye bye. Next Pokemon is going to be Little Fungus here. Now, this Fungus is a bulky set. So Gyarados is going to go for a Whirlpool, interesting enough here. So it seems to be like a Gyarados that traps you in and then spams bite like before you can, uh, you know, do an attack here. So this Fungus is a Defense Curl set. So it's a Defense Curl rollout set. I thought it was pretty funny that these Pokemon actually get rollout. So I went off like a bulky set to give it a go. Now, the other moves are Ingrain and my favorite healing move. Ability is going to be Effect Spore and Item is going to be Everlight. I've got Max Health and Max Attack at Nature. So, with uh, using Defense Girl and Rollout, you get a good boost there at the start on damage. And look at this little Fungus go. It's going to take out the giant Gary Dice there. So, only on people I channel will you see a Rollout Fungus. Next Pokemon is going to be Lucario. So, there's not a lot I can really do to Lucario here. It's going to go for a Bullet Punch. That was a weird camera angle. And Bullet Punch, well, it does three damage. So, I'm going to keep rolling out here. Good damage to Lakari. Very, very good damage. Uh, Lakari has got the uh, leftovers as the item, too. So, like, all right, this is an interesting sort of set. What's it going to be? And it's going to have work up, too. So, I'm like, I don't know. This might be like a, um, a mix attacker, too, because, you know, they could have used Sword Dance instead of work up there. So, I'm thinking it is a mixed attacker. So, this Lakari actually, uh, I think I got, like, paralyzed here, like, a lot of turns, and I couldn't really do much. And uh, he'll just keep attacking me or then keep setting up the uh, the work ups here so uh, there was like a big part there where I got constantly paralyzed there that went on for like 10 minutes so I just sort of just sped that one up there so I couldn't really do much to Lakari it healed itself off completely the leftovers because I keep getting paralyzed and I got a final rollout in which is going to be healed up by the uh, leftovers anyway so that is the end of the little fungus but our question of the day people is uh fungus among us and brute bonnet what do you think of them especially brute bonnet being the uh you know the new Pokemon here do you like brute bonnet tell me your thoughts about that now, the first uh, set here we got for Brute Bonnet is going to be... Look, look at this one. Oh, this is my Sunny Day Solar Beam Earth Power and Spore set. So, this is going to be a Max Health Max Special Attack Modest Nature. We've got the Booster Energy to boost up the Special Attack. And it's a Sunny Day user. So, I'm going to get that Sun up and then go for Solar Beam and stuff like that. Now, I actually was thinking about running Growth on this. But, unfortunately, not really a fast Pokemon. So, I kind of scrapped that idea and just gave it the sport. So I'm going to go for a Terra Ground here. That's the Terra I've got in there because this team is obviously weak to especially fire and steel types. They can't really do anything to that. So I managed just to leave the, uh, the Lucario's uh, it was vacuum wave there and I managed to take it out in one shot with the Earth Power, which is really good because I didn't really have much to actually uh, do to that Pokemon being a steel type. Next Pokemon is going to be the Star Raptor. 
And Star Raptor is going to have the Intimidate ability. Not that it really matters. It's going to outspeed me anyway. But then it went for Rain Dance. It's like, ooh. On this turn, I actually went for Spore, which is going to be pretty cool. So this might allow me to get a little bit of damage on this. Now, I've got uh, I've got Solar Beam and I've got Sunny Day here. So I was thinking, you know what I should do here? I should swap it out and go into my other Among Us. So this Among Us is... Like a really kind of like bulky set. So we've got max health and max defense, bold nature. I've got ingrain, giga drain, toxic, and veno shock. And I've got the ability to fetch spore item is going to be black slide. So it's quite a bulky set here. So this turns out to be a special Star Raptor with a hurricane in the rain, which is really cool. Um, it still hits me really, really hard though, especially because I'm not like, I'm more like defensive. And, uh, you know, this thing is. Definitely max special attack, that's for sure. So Among Us is going to go down in two hits there. And this is actually a really, really threatening Pokemon. I have to take it out. So I'm going to go into my Fungus uh, number two here. Now, this Fungus is a bulky Everlight set. This is actually pretty nasty because I come across quite a few people that had Rest Pokemon. And I use Worry Seed on them. And then I've got Toxic. So, you know, sometimes when you put Poison on a Pokemon, people use Rest and get rid of that. Well, this way, the opponent can't go to sleep there because it gives them Insomnia. So I managed to get a little bit of damage off here with Foul Play, which is pretty good there. Taking Saraptor down to a small amount of health. The EVs on this one were Max Health and Max Special Defense. And I also gave it uh, Bold Nature too. So a little bit of mix around there. And we've got my favorite healing move, Toxic Worry Seat and Foul Play Regenerator as the ability. Next Pokemon's going to be Brute Bonnet. Now, I have used this Brute Bonnet set before, and it was pretty fun. So I'm going to hit hard, like uh, really, really hard there by the Hurricane. And now I'm going to go for a Trail Blaze on the Star Raptor, boosting my speed. Now, this is a physical set here. So I've got Trail Blaze to boost the speed. I've got Bullet Seed with loaded dice so I can land hits four to five times. I've got Crunch and Spore. Max Speed, Max Attack, Adam and Nature. Last Pokemon is going to be Skiddo. Now, this actually is quite a good counter to my team. And I've got a Defense Drop there. So you probably never hear anyone saying that. But this is a Grassy Terrain Skiddo. Now, Skiddo has got the ability uh, Grassy Pelt. A uh, Grass Pelt. So it is. Um, it makes it very, very uh, bulky on the defensive side under Grassy Terrain. But since I got that Defense Drop and a Crit there, um, it definitely like mattered so much. I think it might have had Milk Drink and been like a bulky set. Um, it would have been interesting whether about to continue live crunches over and over again. Last Pokemon is Luxray. Wait, it's Luxray's eye. I think its eyes are shut. It came out and its eyes are shut. I'm not so do, do you see its eyes being shut or open? I need to have a look at this again. I need to inspect this. Here we go. Wait. Uh, uh, it's, it's, I don't know. Maybe it's the color of its eyes that make it look up their clothes. Anyway, so we've got the Lakaro. Not the Lakaro, the Luxray are uh, going for a Protect here. And it's going to be a normal Terror too. So it's definitely going to be a Facade set because I see that it's got the Flame Warp here too, which is going to hit very, very hard. So I've got the Grassy Terrain up which is definitely going to help and now i can go for the bullet z one bullet z did so much damage to it that is going to be a uh definitely four hits is going to be enough to take out there a facade would have easily taken me up at least i had that uh speed boost to allow me to outspeed there and that is the end of the first game and that is the end of the sleeping lux ray 24 7 it seriously looks like it's sleeping uh, thank you, Arts of the Battle. They're cool team. Let's get on to battle number two. Uh, so this uh, battle, this one is a battle against uh, Bell Rocks. I think that's a sleeping uh, a sleeping Scyther in the background of that profile picture. I'm pretty sure. Now, the first Pokemon here is called Early Riser. I'm, I'm an early riser, people. Like, when you wake up in the morning, do you like to get your like your early start to the day or do you like that that big sleeping in the morning tell, tell me everything i like to always hear people's opinions so we got a uh, a double team iron valet this is pure scum because i really couldn't do too much for it because let's be real i had a rollout fungus right it wasn't exactly uh doing lots of damage there either so this uh iron valet actually got six double teams up here now this wasn't so much a trouble in like sword and shield and stuff like that because there was Dynamax, but I don't have any, um, I just don't have any like moves that can bypass accuracy. So I was like, 
Man, this is going to be really, really bad if this has any, like, psychic type move or any, like, decent move on it. So this is double team number five here, and I'm trying to stay alive. So I'm going to keep going for a roll out. I don't want to swap out. I just want to see what moves it's got, and it's going to go for a moon blast. I'm like, oh, dear. So at least I do resist that, but I, I can't lay uh, I can't lay any attacks on this Pokemon whatsoever. So here comes another moon blast. It's a four-hit KO on Fungus. It is a bulky Everlight set, and uh, it actually does uh, resist it too, which is good. So I didn't get any more rollouts. I think I got like one or two off, and that was it. So bye-bye, Fungus. There wasn't a lot I could do. So I got to get rid of this thing. Otherwise, it's definitely going to be a sweep. So we're going to bring in the big choice fan among us here. I was like, all right, I'm just going to go for the C-bomb here and hope for the best. So here comes a future site, which is very, very bad. C-bomb land. You wouldn't read about it. So I got a big amount of damage there on the shiny uh, Iron Valiant. But unfortunately, it didn't take it out. So I was like, all right, I need one more hit uh, to actually take this thing out. So it's going to keep firing off Moon Blast against me. And this is going to be like a three-hit KO too, because that one was actually a crit. So... I'd say I would have got one more, maybe sorry, after this uh, Future Sight, and uh, that was my last turn anyway. So it didn't actually matter. I forgot about Future Sight. My future's not looking bright. So our uh, next Pokemon is going to be Fungus. Now, I've got Toxic, so Toxic is going to miss on a Poison-type Pokemon, which is going to be handy. And uh, it's going to go for another Future Sight. So we're going to go for Toxic here and Poison the Iron Valley out there. Always feels weird uh, saying you can Poison Iron, like Iron Valley, you know? Always thought they'd be Steel-type. So this thing has, uh, like, one or two more turns left in it. I just have to live these attacks. And now it's going to have Destiny Bond. So it's a troll set. So my Fungus, um, I actually went for a healing move here because I knew that uh, I might get attacked here by Moonblast and then followed up by the Future Sight afterwards there. So Moonblast is going to do nothing, and I just healed it off the, the damage there. The, the attack that's actually doing the most is actually Future Sight because it's super effective, right? So this does a lot of damage from my little Fungus here, like heaps and heaps of damage. So that's the end of Iron Valley anyway. It took all that just to take out one Pokemon, so... Uh, it was very, very scary there at the start. I'm just glad I landed that sea bomb earlier on. Next Pokemon here is going to be Iron Treads. Iron Treads is going to go for a Mega Horn here. I don't know whether that one actually mattered because this was fairly, fairly like bulky set, but I don't think I would have been able to do much anyway. It would have been like going for like, I don't know, like Toxic or whatever. So it didn't really matter too much. So next Pokemon is the Brute Bottom. I'm going to go for a Terry because let's face it, I really have to. I've struggled against this one Pokemon like... You know, that, that double team was crazy. So what I'm going to do, I've got Terra Fire on this, which is quite a good uh, Terra for Amoongus if you're going to run it or even, uh, you know, Brute Bonnet because obviously um, yeah, them being weak to certain moves, so you get like, like Terra Water or Terra Fire, pretty good. So I'm going to go for the Trailblaze here. Uh, Iron Treads is very, very fast, so I need, like, uh, at least one of them up there. And now I can see it's got the uh, Rocky Helmet, so I definitely don't want to go for something like Bullet Seed. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go for Crunch, because Crunch should be, like, a around this stage should be around a two-hit KO here. This Pokemon's got some really good, like, uh, really good attack stat, too. It's interesting. So it's sort of like when you think about it, it's got good bulk, and it's got good attack too, but it works differently to, um, you know, Among Us, right? I don't know, like, I'm trying to look at it and see which one would be better, like Among Us or Brute Von. I feel like they work differently, in uh, in my opinion. Anyway, so we got the uh, Iron Treads going for a Terror to Ground. I was like, I don't think it's going to leave, and it didn't, so maybe they had some plan there with the Terror to Ground. But uh, unfortunately, that plan is not going to come to fruition. So that's two Pokemon down. Next Pokemon is going to be... Uh, we got the King Gambit, and it's sitting... It, it's shiny, and it's sitting on a toilet. So this part took a very, very long time. So first things first, I put the King Gambit to sleep. Or at least I thought I put it to sleep because it had a chest of So that straight away tells me that it has the rest and sleep talk, right? Or at least rest. Um, one of the two. So now I'm going to go for the Spore again. I was thinking too, it'd be great if I had my, uh, my Worry Seed um, Fungus from earlier on, but both of my Fungus were already fainted, so I was like, oh, that would have been amazing to get around that. So now the uh, the Bishop, sorry, the Bishop, the King Gambit is going to go for a Sleep Talk, and they got a, they got a classic Pip Knight Rest Sleep Talk, so I was happy about that. Now, unfortunately, a Bullet Seed is going to probably be a, uh, a 99 hit KO here. It's not, <laughs> it's not really doing a lot of damage, right? I was thinking on this set, too, I could probably go for a Terror, like Terror Blast, too. That would be quite good to allow me to, uh, you know, hit some Steel-type Pokemon. But then I had to lose, like, Trailblaze, and I didn't really want to do that because I quite like, 
having that extra bit of speed, then I would have had to give up something like Spore. And, you know, Spore's quite a handy move too. So this is a Sword Dance Metal Claw King Gambit. And uh, it's hitting very, very hard too. So I'm going to fire a couple more seeds there at the uh, King Gambit. I'm try what I'm trying to do, right? I'm trying to knock the King Gambit off the toilet. I'm not having very much success, so it's very, very bulky. You know, it's really got a you know, two feet planted. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, this is going to be a second turn to sleep here. And uh, I'm going to go for a bulletin now. They didn't wake up because I, I think I put them to sleep with Spore. So when you put a Pokemon to sleep, uh, like with a move, right, that's not like rest, it can be random. So um, let's say they didn't go for sleep talk uh, on the first turn. but we did, Sorry, went for it on the first turn, but not on the second. So that's a different because rest is always going to be two turns to sleep. Where another sleep move, well, it could be like straight away wake up, but you know, those sort of things there. So it's unfortunately, it's going to get all of its health back to the, uh, the rest again. I gotta swap out. There's absolutely nothing I can do. And we're gonna go into Brute Bonnet number two. The only thing I can really do here is hit this with a powerful special type move. And let's be real, this Pokemon isn't really made out to be like a super powerful special attacker. As for this design, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on Brute Bonnet right now. I actually quite like I'm not I'm comparing it to a Mungus right. I quite like the little like uh what would you call them? Leaves or moss or whatever like that hanging down off the mushroom. I, I quite like its design for what it is. It's not my favorite sort of Pokemon, but I don't mind the uh, design of it. It actually works quite well. Uh, so now we got the uh, another uh, Rest and Sleep Talk combination uh, from the King Gambit. King Gambit is going to get a Metal Claw off. That had plus four in attack. That's doing an enormous amount of damage. A fun fact about Metal Claw too, I think it's got like 55 PP. It's got like a crazy amount of PP. Uh, for some reason. So that's going to be the end of the King Toilet there, which is good. In comes the Claw Wits. Uh, they're going to pop a, a Flash Cannon there, but Brute Bonnet managed to live, and I managed to get a Spore off here. What I wanted to do is to get the Sunny Day up, and then I could go for a Solar Beam. I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to have like a, a, a bit of a, like a lucky time here. I might have to get like one more turn of sleep, and then I can go for the Solar Beam. So the Sun is up now. Solar Beam is going to do a lot of damage. I just need a rest here. And that is going to be the end of the uh, Clawitz for sure there. The Larry the Lobster was taking a little bit of a well-deserved nap there. So now we've got two more Poke Oil left. Uh, we got the, um, the uh, Steve. Uh, you know, that would be good for for alligator for Steve Irwin, but I, I I do get it. The crocodile, and that's gonna go for a pit missile. Pit missile is gonna be uh, that's gonna be four times super effective. That's uh, that's savage. My next Pokemon is gonna be Brute Bonnet. I've actually got it left on like seven health, and this is gonna be perfect because I've got a multi hitting move here too. And with four hits and loaded dice, that's gonna be enough to take it out. In, in one shot, which is really, really good there. Otherwise, I probably would have lost to a, you know, a pin missile Iron Thorns there. It would have been very, very salty. Uh, the last Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands. Like, this thing is going to be hitting really, really hard. Let's see how much damage I'm doing. I, I really did underwhelming damage, which I kind of expected. You know, Iron Hands is a very, very bulky Pokemon too. So, it can virtually use any move here to take me out. And I've got my final Pokemon left, which is an Among Us. But the Among Us that I've got isn't a real hard Hard hitter, it's got more investment in bulk. So it's gonna be very interesting whether I could take it out or you know get taken out. So it's gonna finish me off there with a uh, I think that was a thunder punch, and I'm sure after seeing Thunder Punch that it's got Ice Punch. Now Among Us, I wasn't really sure I could outspeed it, and it's not, it's gonna get hit by Ice Punch. I'm like, all right, that's a three hit KO. I have to do something. So go for the Giga Drain there, my best sort of option to retain some health and do some damage. Plus I had Black Sludge too, so that's almost going to help me out there to live possibly another turn. So here comes the Ice Punch. It's going to be very, very close here. I'm going to go for Giga Drain. That's not going to take out the Iron Hand. So this is a deciding turn. It's like, all right, I think I'm going to get fainted here. It's going to be very, very close, but we'll see, right? I was just hoping for like no crit. Like I wanted some sort of chance. Here comes the Ice Punch and Among Us lives on three health. I don't get free sacks and the Iron Hand is going to fight, but what a crazy finish there. Who knows what way that battle could have gone there in the end. So, uh, yeah, I could have got free sacks. You know, I was thinking I could have lived that one-on-one -on -one health, and I got close. I was on three health. But anyway, uh, thank you, Velrox, for the battle there. Let's get on to the third and final battle for today. Uh, this is a battle against uh, Lychee here. Now, we've got a, uh, a big Ben Pie. Oh, here we go. We've got a Harry Armour. It's having a little bit of swim inside the ground there. I get, I, I sort of, it's kind of sad now that I'm used to seeing that every first turn. Like, whenever you see the first Pokemon get sent out, they always get teleported inside of the ground. 
Wait a second. I wonder what happens with a really small Pokemon. Do they... I wonder if they... Th th there's nothing there, and then after they just they just appear there. I have to, I have to give that one uh, uh, a try. So this is going to be a really thick, bulky hairy armor. Look at them thighs. And it's going to go for a body press. Now, this is going to be prime time for my Fungus with Defense Curl and roll out here. The only problem is hairy armor does resist that. Um, I've got the ingrain on this set too, so why I'm going for a rollout, I can get um I can get like recovery too. So effect spore actually kicks in, which is really, really cool there, and puts Harry Arm to sleep, which is good. Uh, the bad thing is, unfortunately, Harry Arm has got a rocky helmet, so let's let's be real. Even if Harry Arm has slept for the next 20 turns, I'm gonna faint to the Rocky Helmet, which really, really sucks. Like Rocky Helmet is doing more damage to me than I'm doing to the uh, Harry Arm. Like Probably on the fifth hit, I might do a little bit more. Unfortunately, Harry Armour is going to wake up there and it's going to sit on top of the mushroom. That was brutal. Poor little fungus there. Hey, at least it took a Gyarados out early on. That was the main thing, right? Next Pokemon is going to be the Amoongus. It's very sus right now. And I'm going to get sat on again by Harry Armour. But this Amoongus has got some bulk to it, you know? Now I'm going to go for the Sea Bomb. I get a lucky crit there with Sea Bomb because this is quite a bulky Pokemon. And Amoongus is not a very good physical attacker, which is exactly why I wanted to use it. And that's uh, going to leave the second Sea Bomb there. And now we're going to Heavy Slam Waylord. And that's going to take out my Amoongus there. But I got it on a small amount of health which actually uh was perfect so what i can do now since the harry armor is on one health i can go for trailblaze here and this gives me a free turn to boost my speed there because you know harry armor is very slow so i can take advantage of that i know i'm going to take a little bit of rocky helmet damage but that is uh that is cool. Next Pokemon to come in here is going to be uh, an Elysian Hydreigon there. Um, we got Iron Juggles. Now, this is the theme team as well. Let me know if you can guess what the theme team is in the comment section of the video there. Actually, uh, I was currently uh, watching this uh, on, on TV at the moment. So now I'm going to go for a Bullet Seed there. Obviously, it's not going to do much. I don't have a lot to hit this Pokemon with, really. So I just went for a barrage of Bullet Seeds there. This is like a air cutter set with focused energy. So it's really really quite scary because if that gets like through my team I'm pretty much going to be toasty so on this turn I actually went for Spore uh, instead of an attacking move I'll be real I didn't think I lived this uh, turn at all but uh, my opponent wanted to get their 100% crits going with Air Cutter so um, they've got Air Cutter which already has a uh, you know, chance of critting already and with the focus energy that actually makes Air Cutter crit 100% of the time which is you know, very, very scary right there. I'm hoping it's not going to wake up here and I can take it out. So that was like bullet seed number number four or five. No, I got five in a row and the Iron Jugglers is not going to wake up, which is very, very lucky. And I'm going to take it out with another Trailblaze. A little bit of disrespect and a little bit of boosting my speed at the same time there. So I'm definitely not sad to see Iron Jugglers go. Next point I want to come out here is going to be Sarah Ledge. So I'm like, all right, I wonder what this set's going to be. I went for the Crunch for a massive punch and it's got the focus sash and it's also going to have the weak armor too which is going to drop its defense not that it really matters and boost its speed which is you know absolutely going to matter so all right i wonder what sort of set this is going to be so now they're going to go for the flame charge and that's given that plus three in speed so you know even my most uh speediest pokemon will not outspeed that Next Pokemon to bring in here is going to be my little fungus. I'm like, all right, let's see what this is going to be. It's going to be an Astonish flinching set, and it's going to flinch me. So Astonish has a 30% chance of flinching your opponent. So they got two back-to-back there. I'm like, all right, they're, they're pushing their luck right now. So I guess that's why they went for the flame charge. I thought, well, I got two. That's pretty good. I'll see if I can take out the fungus. Fungus, like, hangs on by a thread and takes out the Serilage with a foul play there. That was awesome. Like, I would have been in so much trouble there. Next Pokemon is going to be Baxcalibur. It's going to go for an icy win there. The, the mushrooms are going to be froze, you know. I have to say, I have to ask this too. Who likes mushrooms or, like with their breakfast? Or just in general, I really like mushrooms there. A really nice uh, food. And it's funny because I actually really, really used to hate um, hate you know, like eating them. They tasted like really gross. And then I guess it was just like an age thing. My, my taste buds change over time. And I was like, man, these are really, really good. Like I was like sleeping on this. Anyway, back to the battle here. Uh, we got this Among Us. It's, it's not doing too well. Uh, I did manage to get off the Tox against Baxcalibur though. Baxcalibur seems to be like, an Icy Wind Bite Ice Fang set. So it's all about dropping the opponent's speed with Icy Wind if they are faster and then trying to get a flinch on Bite or Ice Fang. Bite has a higher chance than Ice Fang. It was just funny they didn't get a flinch there but got both the flinches on the Astonish. I guess that's the way RNG uh, like just works sometimes. Sometimes it just goes like, 
all your way, and then some other times it just doesn't go your way at all. So that's the end of the back scalloper. La oh, sorry, the second last Pokemon here is going to be Star Raptor, and they went for the greatest play in the world here. Watch this, a final gambit on my Among Us. Actually, there was a Star Raptor earlier on here. I guess the uh, birds of a uh, uh, feather flock. Uh, together. So we got one more Pokemon left. The last Pokemon here is going to be... Oh, it's another King Gear, but another Toilet Dweller. And I've got my uh, Brute Bonner here. So I'm like, all right, here we go. I've got Terra Ground here. It's got Supreme Overlord too. They deliberately sacked it off for more base power. The Star Raptor off for more base power. I see now. So I'm going to go for that Terra Ground here. And uh, this is going to be... Hopefully, like a two-hit KO. Like, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, it's not a great special attacker, so I, I don't know what sort of EV spread it's running either. So here we go. We got a double terror here, people. And I was sort of curious. I was like, I hope this doesn't have, like, flying or something like that. Otherwise, I'm done. And it's going to be bug. I'm like, oh, no, that's really, really bad. So uh, here we go. We got, we got an insect. On top of the toilet seat, it happens when you live in Australia, people, insects do sometimes, you know, creep and crawl into the toilet. It's going to be a fury kind of King Gambit. Now, the problem here was it actually boosts in power. So, like, all right, I'm going to go for a spore this turn and, and, and put it to sleep, reset it, and it has a quick claw and an activator and took out my brute bonnet. That's the end of the battle there. It was a salty finish to uh, King Gambit bug on a toilet. Hope you enjoy this one, people. I'll catch you for maybe a moveset guide tomorrow. All right, peace out.